Hi, my name is Erin Heisman, and I'm here to talk to you about the love of civic engagement. There we go. <laughs> now, I want to start off with this quote that my mother used to always tell me. You have not made it in life until you reach back and pull someone else up with you. This quote is so important to me. It really fuels me as a person, especially when it comes to community service and civic engagement. And I really hope it can do the same for you as we go through this PowerPoint. Let's start with the benefits of civic engagement. Connecting to the community, raising social awareness, establishing friendships, increasing compassion, and teaching valuable skills. These are all my favorite things about civic engagement. Connecting to the community is really important to me. I think life is so much more than just going through the motions. Part of it is stopping and talking to your fellow man. And I think there's not a more beautiful way to do that than to go out into your community and help your community. Um, a lot of people tell me that they wish that they could do what I was doing and I'm not doing much. <laughs> I'm stopping by the Civic Engagement Center and I'm asking them, where can I help? And when you do that, you learn a lot of valuable skills. You get a different point of view, different perceptions from all sorts of people. And they, they teach you a lot, even, and you teach them a lot, even when you're not trying to sometimes a conversation might mean one thing to one person but a whole world of things to another so you definitely inadvertently learn a lot and it gives you a whole new outlook on life which i think is absolutely insane very great thing it's probably one of my favorite things about civic engagement if i'm being honest it also increases your compassion and part of that is that new outlook that you get when you go out into the world and talk to people, especially when you're engaging with the community. Um, back to <laughs> talking to people, you're definitely gonna establish friendships. That's probably one of my favorite parts. I know a lot of people who I met through civic engagement who are still my friends who I can call up whenever I want. We go out to lunch, dinner, whatever. And it's all because we were picking up trash together or we went to register people to vote together or who knows but i think those are the most beautiful friendships because you know that this person is coming from a place of service just like you are and a place where they want to grow through helping others which i think is a really interesting comment and concepts an interesting concept that has really shaped and changed my life so pretty great things and lastly raising social awareness i think it's a really beautiful thing to be able to raise social awareness. Um, there's a running joke in my house that I know too much random facts about the community. And it's because I'm in the community all the time. I'm talking to the people of our community and I'm helping them. And then you get to take that information that you learned um, and this compassion for others that you learned and you just want to share it with everyone. And that again goes back to establishing friendships this whole thing kind of falls full circle because when you're out in the community talking to these people and you form these friendships you're learning so much and you're creating friendships where you can create social change and awareness which is probably okay i like that's my favorite part is not only changing the world and like that hour that you're doing community service and civic engagement but continuing to feel like the aftershock of it when you get to talk to others about what you're doing and bring them out to the community to also help. So pretty great stuff. I really, really enjoy it. I love it. <laughs> um, so if those benefits really interested you, you might be interested also in, to know, in knowing how to <laughs> get involved with the community. And I'd start here. This is not here. This is my house. <laughs> Start here on this slide at the Civic Engagement Center in the White House, which is where I'm always at. It's my home away from home. I think it's so funny. I remember someone used to think I worked there <laughs> because I spent so much time. And it's really just because they're all so nice in the Civic Engagement Center. They're all really nice in the White House. They give out free coffee. If there's no other reason to go and get your civic engagement on. There's free coffee in the White House and there's more free coffee in the Civic Engagement Center. They have a Keurig. Um, pretty great stuff. I 
serve the community and then I serve myself a cup of coffee. It's chef's kiss, 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> um, <laughs> go treat yourself. <laughs> um so yeah go check out the sip engagement center they send out emails so you don't even really have to move off the couch that you're watching this on you can just go to your email or your bwu email and there's probably something in there that says hey this is what's happening in the community go get your hours log them pretty great stuff uh, i definitely read that email religiously i would definitely recommend checking it out because there's so much that you didn't know was a thing in the community that you can go and do uh another one google your interests you'd be surprised what you'd find um i think it's really a cool concept that you can just go online now and like see who needs help and where i know that the aspca near my house the laundry broke down so they're asking people to donate um old blankets or just come over and take some laundry home and do it so like you can help out your animals just random things sometimes they're just simple tasks that again don't mean anything to you but mean the world to someone else ask around we have a lot of people on the campus of virginia wesleyan university um, and a lot of people means that there's a lot of knowledge and part of that knowledge is where you can help um, there's always something to do so ask your professors ask your friends i'm sure someone out there knows something that you can do somewhere you can help maybe they need help um pretty great stuff i know ask your parents i asked my mom the other day i was trying to learn something new i'm really into learning about different cultures and i asked her like where's some place that i can learn more about this that, and the third and she said why don't you go down and see if they need any english as a second language tutor so that's going to be my next civic engagement endeavor that's an opportunity down here while I'm on break. Um, I guess by the time this views, it won't be on break. Um, but yeah, if you see this, ask me how it went. <laughs> uh, join service organ oriented organizations. So I wore my little, I don't know if you can see it. One second, maybe I can like tilt my shirt. There we go. <laughs> Um, my little Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority hoodie today, because that is my service organization. Good old AKA, it was founded on a premise of service to all mankind, which is something that's really important to me. And I think most of the community service hours I've done with the school through like this little COVID year has been through AKA because they keep me grounded. Like I think in 2020, and beyond. <laughs> it's been really easy to lose sight of what's important and joining organizations where people also care about serving others really keeps you grounded. Um, I know there's a lot of different service oriented organizations. Um, if you're a guy, you can't join a sorority. I definitely recommend looking into our brothers at Alpha Phi Alpha. Fraternity Incorporated, um, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated is also on campus, Kappa Alpha Psi. There are some pretty great service oriented fraternities and sororities on this campus. And there are a million other service oriented organizations that I may or may not know about. So if I didn't name one, please don't be mad. <laughs> um, my favorite civic engagement activities. So these are my favorites that I've done fairly recently. And by fairly recently, I mean in my three and a half years of college. Wow, I'm about to graduate, wild. Um, so first off is Voter Ready VA. This one, absolute favorite. Um, if you know me, I am an absolute menace to society from September to early November because everyone not really a menace to society but a menace to my friends because everyone if you're not registered to vote i'm gonna be down your throat like hey like i need you to register or do you know who's in the election like blah blah blah, blah, blah. i have the printed forms on my desk in my dorm if you need any got them um, so voter ready va was such a blessing i was able to go out into the community and sometimes it was like little community fairs um other times I was just on campus and I was able to register people to vote. Oh, 
we were both registered people to vote and we also um gave out voter like virginia voter registration information or voter registration not voter registration like ballot information <laughs> um sorry about that uh and it was pretty great um because an informed voter is a great voter you want to be informed on who you're voting for and not just kind of circling random things when you get to the ballot and hopefully you make it to the ballot so um i'm rambling now but obviously you can see this is something i really care about so that was such a great opportunity i really enjoyed it uh the brock village canned food drive was also another really important one to me because i really care about the homeless community and you know that's where I started my community service down in Monroe Park with my mom feeding the homeless. And it was nice to see it kind of go full circle and have my own canned food drive so we can give them out to like the cans out to food banks. And lastly, my personal favorite, because this is like the only one I've done like that wasn't in Virginia, um, was the Boys and Girls Club of Puerto Rico. I went with the women's basketball team to Puerto Rico and I, ended up, I was actually mopping the floors um which is really funny because it sounds like oh like she went all the way to Puerto Rico to mop the floors like yeah that's what I did and it was a time and a half best time I've ever had mopping it was so much fun I learned so much I was able to practice my Spanish a little bit um it was pretty great and then after me and my friends all got to go play basketball with the um local members of the boys and girls club so had a time and a half I would 10 out of 10 you would recommend going to a boys and girls club and we have plenty in the state and helping them out uh and lastly i just wanted to say meet people where they are um i think in today's world whether it's just talking to people like when it comes to relationships you have with others friendships whatever or actually going out to do civic engagement, engage civically. We forget to meet people where they are. We expect people to come to us. And sometimes opportunities don't come to us, we come to them. And you never know what you're gonna learn. You never know what's gonna happen to you. If you decide to get out of your comfort zone, get comfortable being uncomfortable and engage in the community. A love for civic engagement is a love for the people. Um, you know, this is something that's so important to me and it's so near and dear to my heart. I just really hope that someone watching this can see how important it is to me and understand how important it can be to them, go out of their way and help their fellow man. Maybe it's just picking up something someone drops, start small, but you know, work your way up, get some hours. And at the end of the year, if you get enough hours, you can get the presidential service award, which is pretty cool. And you also might be able to get a board for graduation. So, and like I said, there's free coffee in the Civic Engagement Center. So if those three things aren't enough for you, I don't know, that was enough for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also you get to help people. So <laughs> go out, engage typically, and have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>